as it seems, I am being tested in the area of patience. As it seems as well, I continue to have somewhat back-to-back -back inconveniences. Not so much major, maybe small to small, medium, <laughs> but inconveniences. Like, how is it possible, like, stuff continues to go, in a sense, wrong? How is it possible? Like, how? Unless someone is behind the scenes, you know, like, boop, 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 you know, doing stuff. So, I think I am being tested. Maybe in patience, perhaps long-suffering. Maybe some in long-suffering. Like today, and I may post this this video now, maybe in a date, on a date further from today. But anyways, today, <laughs> something happened with, I guess I can say with a person I have been having some issues, not really major. And with that person, as it seems, I continue to get inconvenienced by that person, as it seems to me, or maybe I am wrong. Like, is that really, like, is that person trying to blow me off? Maybe that is the a bad word to use. Like, is that person trying to, like, mess with me? Like, let me do this to Kevin. You know, Kevin is not really going to make a, a big fuss. Like, is that person trying to disrespect me to where I am not being taken Seriously, like, is that person really trying to, like, the best way I can describe it is, like, blow me off, like, like that, in a sense. So, today, I was going to raise my voice at that person. I was going to like yell and tell that person off. I was. But I did not give in to that thought because I was upset, I believe I was, and if I would have started yelling, I probably would have gotten like more upset or I think my feelings would have increased. So that person spoke to me, you know, I asked, who did I ask? That person spoke to me and informed me about something, which 
I truly believe they should have or that person probably should have known something. But anyways, there were other times with other people where I have mistook them. Like, I can say something, but you may take what I say in a different way than what I intend. For instance, I can ask you, how are you doing? Or let me say, are you hungry? Now, maybe, for an example, maybe a person may take that as if, like, what does he mean by, am I hungry? Like, is Kevin trying to tell me I am poor? Is Kevin trying to look down upon me? Is Kevin trying to tell me he is superior than I? A person may believe that, possibly. I think many of us are not the same. If we aren't the same, our understanding may not how can I say this, may not comprehend everything in the same way. So there may be some things we can hear, but may interpret it in a different way. So if things are that way, what? I think we have to be slow to react. I think misunderstandings are so common. I truly believe so. Right? Like how many times have you mistook someone? I know for myself in the last month or two, I think I have mistaken some people in some ways. What if we chose to like ask more questions, listen more, close our mouths? Like what if we all chose to do that if we aren't doing that now? I think there would be less confusion, less misunderstandings, less strife, right? I think in some times, I think in some times, huh? I think in some ways, I think sometimes some people are so quick to start talking as if like if someone is explaining something, I think some people are quick to like, not really listen much, but readily to react. I don't want to be that way. Because if I am so quick to react and listen less, like what type of person am I? I believe that would make me a fool, right? I believe that would make me a foolish person and I don't want to be foolish. So quick to react. Not really willing to listen. Not really willing to be slow to react, but so quickly to want to speak my mind, even if I am not understanding the situation correctly. Wouldn't that make me foolish? I think so. I don't want to be foolish. 
I don't. Like, let's say we have to be, I truly believe we have to be slow to react. Slow to, like, truly. Like, you know the situation better than I, but I am so quick to react and telling you what is truly happening when I don't have all the information. <laughs> Isn't that foolish? Which is a word I really don't use much or at all in this video. I have used it. Don't be that way, right? Like, I am learning to, at times, I try to help some other people on the internet. Sometimes I may speak to them or email or Facebook message, stuff like that. Like, what I have been learning to deal with other people, you definitely, I think, need patience, understanding, compassion, love. Because I think some people have been hurt. Maybe they have been hurt a lot. Or maybe they have not really been hurt, but they believe they have been hurt. Maybe their life is better than yours, but because of certain people really being so stuck on themselves, I think, they perceive they have been hurt, which I believe is so true. So with people that have been really hurt, or some people that are stuck on themselves. I think in both cases or many of those cases, you have to be very, very patient, I think. And I found, and I probably can say I have noticed, I can't be quick to react. I have to sit back, figuratively speaking. I have to sit back, listen, ask questions, and sometimes keep my opinions to myself until the right time. Don't be quick to react. Listen, ask questions, and even then, it may not be a good time to speak. Just because the person that is speaking to you is have an opportunity to speak to you doesn't mean you should or you can speak back at that time because it may not be a good time to do it. It may not. It may bring confusion. It may bring strife. It may bring division. Is it worth it? Isn't it better to close your mouth? Isn't it? Why build a nice house with someone that took five years. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five years. Why build 
a house with someone for five years and tear it down in a day. Like, what sense is that? That person had time to talk, Kevin, so I am going to just push in and say what I have to say. Sometimes I think sometimes that is not good, especially with some people that may be stuck on themselves. Sometimes that may not be good. So why build so much with that person and be willing, I guess I can say, to quickly tear things down? Why? Why? If you are trying to win souls to Christ, like, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> wow. Whew. Excuse me again. I hope this makes sense. Be slow to react. I am learning this. Be slow to react. As in slow to speak, slow to act, of course. Slow to do almost anything when it pertains to another. Because sometimes, even the right action may not be right at that time. My right advice may not be good to say at that time. My right action may not be right at that time. So I need to be what? Patient. As much as possible, right? I hope this makes sense. Sometimes not saying anything is the best. Sometimes not reacting is probably the best thing to do. Because maybe, maybe, maybe you are interpreting that person's words or actions in a way that person is not intending it to be interpreted. Maybe that person is acting or speaking in a way to where that person may think they are not trying to be harmful. So, I guess you could ask, you know, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? But in a sense, and please understand what I am trying to say to you, in a sense, be slow to react. Be slow to speak, right? Why tear down something that you took so long to build? Why? Pride? I want that person to know I am right. You may cause so much issues with that. You can be 100% right, but if that person is not willing to accept it, does it really matter you are right? Like if, if that other person is willing to fight and argue and fuss and tear things down, like why would you contend with someone and pretty much tear everything down to be proven right? <laughs> I hope this makes sense. You can be right, but you have to, how can I say this? I believe you have to um, work with each person possibly in a different way pertaining to how their personality is. I can be one way with 
let me name some random names. I can be one way with Billy, but not that same way with Randy. I can be one way with Brittany, but may not be that way with... What is a female's name? <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> I hope this makes sense. Be slow to react. Does that make you weak and a punk and a, a sissy and all this stuff like this? No. That makes you smart. I think that is wisdom, right? I have been learning. If being right, if being proven right is going to burn down your house, break up your marriage, cause so much devastation, why be right? Like, why be proven right? I hope this makes sense. Like, why push? Like, why push it? I am going to get you to, um, what word is that? I am going to get you to admit to being wrong, even though, even if I have to tear everything up, like, why? Why? Like, is being proven right that important? To where you want to tear everything down? I am learning, man. You are going to admit to being wrong even if we lose everything. <laughs> Like, what are you going to get by being proven right? Listen now, I think some people have been hurt really badly or maybe inside their mind they think they have been hurt very badly. And I think with some of those people, you know, I think we all have issues. But if someone thinks or has been hurt very poorly, I think there is a chance they may not always act right. You know, like they may have to grow up. They may have to heal. They may have to go through situations in life to mature. So if they are in their immature stage now, like, what do you expect? Like, for them to do everything right? For them to act mature? For them to really admit to being wrong every time? Sometimes you have to be slow to react. Take my word for it, because I have been learning. <laughs> I have been learning. Be slow to react. Well, that is going to make me a doormat. You know, they may think I am a pushover and blah, 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 blah. I am learning too. Do what is right. And God is going, to, if I am saying this right, do what is right and God is going to take care of the rest. I am not saying, you know, let a person, you know, punch you in the face over and over and over again. I am not saying, you know, to let your enemy over your house and eat up your food and stuff like that. I am not saying that all day, every day. I am not saying that, but do what is right and continue to do what is right. And I believe God will make things right eventually. So let me stop here. God bless you. I truly believe so. God bless you.